Colin Parsons' 50-year career has taken him on numerous adventures, from the depths of the Atlantic Ocean to the pinnacle of Toronto's first condo buildings. The young accountant, who arrived in Canada from Wales in 1957 after serving in the British Army, went on to become president of Monarch Corporation and a strong voice for the home building industry in Ontario and the GTA. During his tenure at Monarch, the company's assets grew from $66 million to over $227 million from 1976 to 1991. Where they built also expanded beyond its Toronto roots, and Monarch began creating communities in Ottawa, Kitchener, London, St. Catharines, Burlington, Montreal, and across the United States. In 1978, Colin served as president of the Toronto Home Builders Association. It was coincidentally the year he became a TV star. He hosted a series of 16 half-hour shows that appeared every Saturday night on the housing industry. And while an enjoyable experience, Colin isn't sure about the gigantic family inquest that used to be held every Saturday night as he, his wife Alice, and two sons, Mark and Adam, watched the show. For his unyielding support of the industry and the association, Colin was inducted into Build's Hall of Fame in 1985 and received OHBA's Lifetime Award in 2009. Tonight, we celebrate a trailblazer in Ontario's home building industry. There are many personalities of Colin Parsons. Among them are his great discipline and determination. He came across as a, a, a man of a lot of integrity. He had a deep knowledge about the industry. He had a real commitment, you could tell, to homeowners, to quality, and just to, to Monarch's place in the industry. When there was uptime, it was all work with him. He was very engaged, very active, very intelligent. He was really the key to Monarch's success in, in those times, and it was just a great pleasure for me to work for him. Alice has been a, been a great force in your life, and she deserves as much praise and glory. She always had interesting things to say about the company because she knew it so well. They have been a great team. In 1992, when he left Canada back to England to become chairman of Taylor Woodrose, he was challenged with building and completing the Channel Tunnel, multi-billion dollar effort. Not only got it done and brought it in, saving Taylor Woodrow worldwide as a corporation, an amazing accomplishment. It changed the world. Toronto would be different because we wouldn't have the strong community base that he created. Each of the monarch developments were much more than a singular house. They were all part of a broader community base, from parks to open spaces to style design, the sense of, of how do people live, work and play within a community as opposed to an individual house built one at a time. Colin had a real commitment to seeing Monarch build high quality homes, homes that were well designed, homes that incorporated different elements that you might normally see in the Toronto market at that time. I think that was a reflection of his own belief in how business was run. He had a fabulous presence and delivery. His eloquence and speeches were always flavored with great quotations from Churchill, Woodsworth, Tennyson. And I'll deliver one for him that describes him perfectly. The people who get on in this world are the ones who look for the circumstances they want and if they can't find them, make them. And that's Colin Parsons right to a T.